Hello viewers, this is Anand from Tech My Style. In today's video, we'll look at how to use Wemos Ribbon Mini and an active buzzer to play our favorite tunes like uh, Super Mario and Star Wars. First, let's look at a demo. Isn't that cool? Now let's look at how to do this. We are using MicroPython for this project. So let's start by downloading the MicroPython firmware and burn it onto the Waymos T1 Mini. We can download the latest firmware from the download page. We are using Waymos T1 Mini, which is an ESP12e. So we can download the latest version from this section. Uh, in, in this case, like it's 1.10, so let's download that. Also, to burn this, um, firmware onto the board, we need a tool called ESP tool. So we can install it from um, pip. So let's copy the command, open a terminal, then paste it. Okay. Now the ESP tool uh, is available. I already have a firmware installed, so let's uh, start by erasing the existing firmware. By the way, my board is connected to COM3. So the existing firmware has been erased. Let's install the new firmware. Change the file name to the latest one that we downloaded. Also, Let's change the baud rate to 115200 and the port to COM3. Okay, now the MicroPython is burned. Let's connect to this board using putty and see everything is working fine. We can run typical Python commands here. can also do importing OS module and see the available files. If this is happening, your board is working fine. Now it's time to move on to install another tool called Ampy so that we can push some files onto the board. We can install Ampy using pip. Go back to the terminal. Ampy is installed. Now the tool is really cool. You can do ampy 
dash p com3 and say ls go to list the files let's see the available commands in the ampy so we can use ls to list the files we can use get to retrieve a file the most important command we'll be using here is put so we have some custom code written that's split into multiple files so we can use ampy's put to push that code reboot the board to see it working my code is available in the folder esp tunes you need to push the four files which is esp tunes web server esp tunes.html the main.py and tones dictionary.json files so let's start installing one by one with the command put Now let's reset the board and um, open the web page. Let's connect to the board directly. You can access the board by typing 192.168.4.1. This is the page you should be seeing if everything goes fine. Now this is what you can uh, do using this tool. You can paste in some ad hoc tones. So this is the piano equivalent uh, tones. So this is the Star Wars Imperial March. So let's connect the buzzer. Hit the play button. So you can play around with these notes here. Make sure you put a zero at the end so that the playing stops. Once you are satisfied with the tone, you can type in a file name here and hit save. And once you refresh the page, you should see your saved file here. So if I select the file, if you select the file and hit play file, it plays the same tone. Now let's create another file for the Mario. So this is the Mario tones. Let's test it out. I like what I hear, so let's save this. Refresh the page. Now Mario is available for us to play. I'll leave a link to the code in the video description below so you can download the code and um, install. I want to show some of the resources that I used to, to make this happen. Um, first thing is the play tone uh, from the MicroPython org. So this is where I actually picked up the tones. So you can refer this to, to see what all tones are available. Also, I used the code from RhinoSW, the ACI web server code to kind of base of my project. 
Also for the complete Super Mario tones, I found in this website and I converted it to the compatible tones as per this. That's all for the video guys. If you find any issues with the code, please open an issue on the GitHub. Uh, please like the video if you like what you see. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you in the next video.